Houston's news leader. This is 13 Eyewitness News, live at 5. Much more ahead on Live at 5. I mean, this, this system changed my life. Well, look at the latest technology allowing disabled Houstonians to walk and Heather Mills to dance on Dancing with the Stars. Coming up here on Live at 5, life with just one leg hasn't stopped Heather Mills from Dancing with the Stars. But how does she do the foxtrot with only one leg? Up next, we're going to show you the prosthetic technology that helps Mills dance and makes life easier for Houstonians living with artificial legs. She is a former swimsuit model and soon-to-be ex-wife of Paul McCartney, and Heather Mills looks stunning during her foxtrot routine on Dancing with the Stars last night. She's very open about the prosthetic legs she wears. She lost her left leg in a motorcycle crash 14 years ago, and Mills wears a strap while dancing to keep her leg in place. But as you might have seen last night, she didn't miss a step, even throwing in a high kick or two, and she looked extremely graceful. Plenty of disabled Houstonians are rooting for Mills in this competition. They know all too well what life is like living with an artificial leg. Eyewitness News reporter Laura Whitley spent the day learning about the latest in prosthetic technology. She shows us some of the amazing things amputees are able to do these days. You want to walk real fast. Nearly a quarter century after losing no, his left leg, Ben no Falls leg. moves around Your easily. Your prosthesis is on. It won't he fits off. other amputees for prosthetic yeah. devices. Today, Falls' patient, David Reed, received a free leg from TMC Orthopedic. It's like starting a new life. Falls knows something about those kinds of new stars. Being able to, for instance, teach your kids how to ride a bicycle and run beside them. The Houston father missed those once-in-a-lifetime moments. With my older kids, I was never able to do. I couldn't get that. Since getting his high-tech prosthetic leg, Falls isn't missing out on much. With my younger son and this prosthesis, I was able to get him on his bicycle and run beside him. A tiny computer and hydraulic pump help operate the artificial so limb. It analyzes yeah, Paul's gait 50 times each second. Every night I plug this into the wall or I can plug it into my cigarette lighter in my car and charge it. Just like a cell phone. Just like a cell phone. The limb Heather Mills uses is a little different. Hers is mechanical if you want to call. It's, it's not biomechanical. It actually just kind of hooks in over the condyles of her, of her leg. Even with all the technological advances, doing something like dancing is much more difficult for Mills than her competitors. An amputee can use up to 80% more energy than a non-amputee to perform the same task. Amputees who dance or run must spend hours in the gym conditioning their upper leg and hip muscles. Even before getting his high-tech leg, Falls went skydiving and bungee jumps. He credits prosthetic advances with giving him back the moments he would have missed. When amputees get prosthetic devices, there's an adjustment period. Often through physical therapy, they can develop their muscles and get better balance. Laura Whitley, 13 Eyewitness News.